conquer evil with good. The more aware we can become of our own failings, okay, of our own humanity, the more, the more intentionally we can conquer that through grace and virtue. So to be able to look at yourself, and that means looking into your past woundedness, that means like looking into just, this is, my, this is my thing, you know what I mean? To realize what those things are that set you off. To realize what, the, what conditions under, you know, if I'm bored, if I'm angry, if I'm tired, if I'm hungry, if I'm stressed, these affect the way that I treat the people around me. These affect the way that I go about my day. To be able to identify what those areas are and then proactively do something about it before they happen. You know, to be able to seek out and root out those things. That's, what a, that, that's, that's where a leader goes from being a thermometer who just reflects you know, the room, the, 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 the temperature in the room, the situation in the room, to a thermostat who sets the tone. Okay? To make your body, your flesh, a slave to your spirit. To be able to say that no matter what, I'm going to function in this way. And this is the pursuit. Not like none of us have it perfect. This is the pursuit every day. But to be able to look at it and say, how can these areas that I can sometimes get negative, how can I proactively change these? And that's why that daily examination helps us to learn these things about ourselves. The people that you live closely to, closely with, in community with, the people that you're around a lot, ask them, hey, what are my idiosyncrasies? Where do you see me get kind of, yeah. and help me understand these things about myself. That is how you can love me. That's how you can love me. People are saying, you know, what do you need prayers for? And we often go to like that, that regular list we know. Or we're like, gosh, you know, where to start alphabetically, chronologically, you know? <laughs> this should be one of those things that if we're doing that daily examination of conscience, it should be off our tongue before they finish the sentence. I'll tell you exactly what I need prayers for. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but identifying, identifying where, where we aren't and where we can't go to is that first step in getting to where we need to be. Okay? If you want to get to be your strongest, you begin with where you're weakest. Right? If you want your prayer life to be its strongest, identify where it's at its weakest. Right? You want your prayer to be, you know, whatever. I mean, if, if you want your life to, to echo that, then be proactive about it. This morning